Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So uh, we are in week three, um, round one in GAC, Kyber one, and uh, I'm, go I'm going up against a whale. Um, he has 10.2 million GP, which is quite high, and he has all the toys. Like he even has um, R7 second sister. And he just started to attack. He's in Rebel Force Tatooine. Which is, I know the guild, um, they are like a medium uh, range. I think they have around uh, four, 400 million, so that's quite good. And he just started to attack not long ago. And he already had a drop battle against my Lord Vader. So I switched up my defense. Um, this is my front south wall. Oh. And I went a bit lighter up here. Um, so yeah, it's nothing really special except this dash team because uh, my dash is quite fast. With 357, so that's a relative uh, 377. Um, and I'm going to show you guys once we finish my back wall, just in case somebody is watching. So, up here, he set some really interesting teams. Like, as I mentioned, he has an R7 second sister. So this is an interesting comp. Um, the dash team with Quill as well. It could be nasty. Um, Fear, if you hang around once we finish with my GAC match, I'm more than happy to answer your questions. So that's his team up top and down south he said both JMK and Lord Vader and he also has a full R7 Iden team not to mention an R8 Shore and he said DR Witnessed now if you guys watch my previous video I failed against this comp so I'm going to switch up uh, my tactics what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, my bounty hunters with Zem Omicron to take it out and then we're going to use JML against Lord Vader. I'm going to, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to use uh, Star Killer against uh, the Iden comp, and we're going to mirror uh, the JMK. He has an uh, um, R8 Star Killer at the back. I'm not worried about that. He also has an Omicron Eggbar team. Which is quite interesting so um, yeah we will see what happens so I have a qu quick look at my Lord Vader team it looks like he's still in so in the meantime yeah let's just let's get with it what I'm going to do is we are going to start with the Bounty Hunter team. He has a, a quite fast DR. I think it's 350 when I checked it. Yep. Same as mine. So we're going to use Bounty Hunters. Or Elite Bounty Hunters. And then... Mando, Bosk, Grief. And then... Zam. Now my Bosk and Grief are quite fast. Anyway, like my Bosk is at 340, my Grief is at uh, 339, just wants to be slower. So, the Omicron, because I have a really fast Zam, like 334, that's going to give me like a relative um, almost 80 speed to each of my bounty hunters. So, yeah, but that R8 nest is no joke. So we need to trigger the contract, kill DR, 
and then take out Bastila, then Marauder, and uh, finally we just have to wait for our second Annihilate. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So we taunt, we go straight after Bastila, we should be able to kill her, because there is no tank, now kill DR, kill Basti, mass assist on Marauder, try to stun him, taunt, mass assist again, Basic call grief for Terminator boost. Big hit. And then mass assist. And we need one turn. So just basic. Um, just basic again. Try to stun Malak. Oh, that was a big hit. Taunt. Um, I don't want to get feared, so try to stun Nest. Basically, we're just waiting for a turn. Heal up. Basic. Oh, now we don't have that crap. Wicked. Basically, just be waiting. Mass assist. Nice. Try to stun her. Never mind. 73. I'll take that. So, we're going to do GMK mirror, because I have the faster cat, he's actually around 345, and mine is at 370-ish, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to use snips, R2 and then Padme and the thing is because we are faster JMK going to give the turn to Cat uh, going to use his uh, turn on Cat Re reset the cooldown Cat going to give the middle the Cheyenne or Sheen or whatever to R2 R2 going to hide everybody because he's going to give the middle to JMK Cat going to waste his uh, Annihilate on JMK and JMK won't die and after that I'll just show you guys But yeah, just for reference It's 370 minecat so Yeah, let's do it So JMK third on cat Cat middle to R2 R2 hide everybody Except JMK We use the kick And we're not going to use an eye light We start working Oh, never mind. So we we're going to uh, trigger the ultimate early because now cat can go around, ignoring the taunt. Just heal up. Yeah. 
yeah. It's just a long fight, so now we can kill Cat. So she's gone. And now we just go after Anakin. We can heal up or get the protection. Now basically it's just the waiting game. That triggered the saver. I go after Anakin again. If the she enter. Sorry, just a long fight, so I have to concentrate. Um, try to stun. Kick. Now we get the m maximum ultimate charge. Go to ultimate again. Give it two snips. Big hit. GK is annoying. He's gone. We can hide everybody under JMK. Save the big hit. Yeah, try to put the burn down. And then that should be it. 65. That's nice. So now we're going to use um, Star Killer against the Iden team. I don't want to risk the burning Treya because Treya can be really useful against um, the Dash team up top. So we're going to use Empire. Star Killer. Visas and then we're going to use um let's see Kanan as a tank. Where is he? Kanan, Kanan, yeah. Alright, so they will move first, which is fine. This team should be able to withstand the incoming damage. Yep. So let's start the turn meter train. Um, we stuck, so stun sure. Just basic. We want to kill death first, but we also want to stun. Thanks for the follow, fear. Um, let's just use basic. Wow. Um, let's just. Try to kill. Yeah, this is an overkill, but I want to get Max Banners. Oh well, well, that's fine. So it looks like he managed to. Oh wow, <laughs> it took him 5 battles, so I feel really good about this then now. Uh. 
Yeah, you're right, Mike. Sorry, I just read your message. So yeah, we're going to use GM. The the reason I, I also uh, didn't want to use Treya is because the uh, the comp to take out this Ident team is uh, the C tri uh, trio, Beris and Moroder. But sometimes it can go bad, and because I'm facing like oh, almost every single team has a full R8 or R7 tunes in it. It just I want to do it like. I really want to get the one, one shots because every single team that I failed on is going to be really difficult to clean up. So we're going to use Kia Mundi, Shakti, GMY, and Barris. So that's the comp. Um, the good thing is, which I'm really happy about it, that there is no Darth Vader. So this is a slightly easier comp, but things can go sideways if if more decides to uh, increase the cooldown on Shakti. But yeah, that's it. Not to mention that he usually sets a slicker at the back, so that's why I wanted to save uh, JKR as well. So they will go first. We use E flux. Spread the buffs. Nice. He went after Barris. Second on himself. Co coin to camp. Armor shred. Um, coin to camp again. Basic. Coin to camp. Now he has three sec stacks. We have to increase the cooldown on Lord Vader. Call Cam. Nice, he's gone. Going to Barris. Basically, we just go around so we can trigger the ultimate. Going to Shakti. Two died. Now, going to GMY because we need to save him. Spread the buffs just in time. Basic. Oh, hang on there. Hang in there. Yep, now we use our ultimate. Basic E flux. Going to Barris just to heal up. Now turn to GMY. Increase cooldowns. My dot. Spread the buffs. Armor shred. Second on herself to cleanse. E flux. Defense up. Going to cam. Increase cooldowns again. Going to GMY. Going to berries. Just try to get some protection back and E-flux and that should be it. Nice, 60. I'll take a 60. So let's see what he has in the back. Oh, that's nice. He actually kept uh, Starkiller for offense. Um. So this is the Omicron Rebels team. So, yeah. I'm not that worried about it. I mean, I don't want to underestimate it. But still, um, yeah. I may have 
a lot of things to deal with this team. Mm. So uh, we're going to do. Let's start with the easier one, like Aiden, because I have the Omicron on Aiden. Um, t -t 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 Troopers. So Aiden, Magma, Snow, um, Death, and we can use Shore. Because I'm not going to use him with my main trooper team. So, Magma Shaw. Yeah. Looking good. So, because I have the Omicron, they will go first, but I'm going to gain a ton tons of turn meter. Like, basically, whenever uh, they attack out of turn, I gain 10% turn meter. So, um,. Use third, just in case something happens, we get the revive. And now we just go all in. Take off the buffs, push back turn meter. And now it's just basically it's just finishing off the job. He's gone. Power next. Basic. Basics. There's no point wasting the that mark. He's gone. Now we can. Oh, he's stealing my banner. Take off all these box. Just basic. Push back the turn meter. And that should be it. Nice. Okay. So that was the easy part. Now we have two GS left. No, just one. Um, so there is no star killer, which means I can use uh, GG. So let's see how he's doing. So yeah, we're going to do uh, C mirror. And let's do that. I know GG can work. Um, hang on, let me just check how, how many teams we have left. So we have CLS. We have C, C, LS Troopers, JKR, C, Trio, Bad Batch, Mon Mothma. Like we have tons of tons of teams. I almost want to do it for science because I've done it in TW using uh, GG. Yeah, I have what. I mean, I know that um, C C uh, with wet uh, should be able to take this uh, team out, but I'm also worried about the Treya ability blocks and stuff like that. Because the thing is, there are some quick teams here. Up top. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not going to need. I don't uh, need GG anywhere else. So. You know what? Yeah, let's just do it anyway. Because I don't have note, and note is a really important um, part of that team. So yeah, let's let's do this. The thing is, they need to kill. Um, that as uh, quick as possible. So we put the tank tag. And then we're going to link set and see. Clans. basic okay so what died get back the protection Not looking good. Just in time. See, that's what I was worrying about because this could be really scary. Basic. So his protection is gone. Nice. And we now just need to apply shock on him. Because as soon as he got shock, he won't be able to like recover health. But this can be still a timeout. Yeah, I'm on full auto, yeah. So n now we need the big hit. Nice. So 65. I'll take that. Okay, so... As far as I know, this lead doesn't give any speed or anything. So, what I was thinking, I wanted to use um, Bad Batch against this. Because my e echo is really fast. Like... 355 think I might have sl uh, slow him down but um, and base is going to taunt they have some uh, pre-buff on them so that will make us go really fast 
So yeah. And I don't really need this team as well. That's fine. So I take the buffs, I gain turn meter. Just stun them. Middle. And then second to Hunter. And that's it. Easy 65. Now, the thing is, I can use troopers here, but also, um, the team I worry about is this dash team. So what I'm going to do against this dash is use C trio. with Talon and also Marauder because once they gain buffs uh, Marauder is going to become a Super Saiyan and with the extra health boost they should be able to withstand the incoming damage yep and also there is no BAM on this team Oh wow, that was a huge hit that they actually managed to one shot Scion. So we need to take out Vendor first. It's just basic. I need Ability block Increase cooldowns um, Let's put days We got the stun, that's good Oh come on We need to take out Vendor because now finally our damage input is going to increase. Now big hit, nice. Isolate IG so we can go around him. Like this team is no joke really. And we're just waiting now for another Annihilate from Nihilus By Quill Big hit Basically just out, uh, put it an auto now That should be it, but yeah I was surprised at how easily they took out uh, my Scion Like Vendor managed to just one shot him. That was scary. Right, so we're going to use Rebels CLS against uh, this team. Obviously, Jedi is not really good because uh, of the second sister. Now I'm not sure if sh uh, yeah. See they gain a lot of offense, so the only way to do this is like shut down the entire team and CLS is the best option, in my opinion, to do to do that because we go straight after Vader, stun him, and uh, hopefully we should be able to kill him. Otherwise, things go might uh, really bad really quick. Because Tron can give him a turn. So, yeah. 
kill him. Second sister next. Blind them. But that was a waste. Um, give it to three pack. That's not good. But yeah, still should be an easy win. Sixty four. I'll take that. Now we have two two teams, three teams left. No, just two. So we're going to use JKR here. Um with Luke. And just in case we take We can do it like this. I also have Omicron on Qui Gon Jin, but uh, <laughs> I guess I'm not going to need it this round. I only just applied it right before week three. So, second to look. Pass it over to Luke, stun them. Now I'm worried about Fennec. She is the main damage dealer of this team. Mm, but Bam is here, so we just take him out. Basic. Second calling Hermit Yoda to get the turn meter. Stun. Call Luke. Basic. Give it back to Luke. Second calling Bastila. Heal up to get the max banners. And that should be it. Easy 65. Now I'm not sure if he has the Omicron. Nope. So, yeah. Trooper should be fine. I even going to take Gideon just to make sure. So, oh, um we are slayed. Piet Gideon the Art Trooper and then Range. This should be it. Now we want to kill Ad there first because we don't want them to revive. And after that, it doesn't really matter. We don't even give the middle. Because we don't have to, to Dark Trooper. So, let's see the ships. Is he attacking or not? It looks like he's just still waiting. So, yeah. Back to ships. I'm expecting, yeah, Nego and Nego and. Executor, so yeah, it's probably R9. Yep, and full R8. I'm actually surprised that he said the full comp. Like, is it R8 or a yeah, R8? Finalizer might have a bit, a bit problem with this comp, but I should be fine. But let's do ships first, so Empire, TIE Fighter, um, them two, and then 
Hebron Hawk. Hebron Hawk, there he is. So, Spy. And Soldier. Yep, let's do it. So, second on Hans too. Hmm, that's not good. I need at least one watcher to die. Drop the bombs. Call in spy. Take out pain. Nice. I thought for a mi minute that we're going to get an extra dodge. Get the turn meter. Just basic. Go over to Razor Cast because he has three buzzes. Uh, remove the days, just basic, basic again, go after, see that was, I actually just realized that, that was a really bad move from my opponent, you shouldn't take in more than two reinforcements, because things like this happen. And then it's it's not really good because you want uh, your bounty hunter ships out first. Basic. So we killed him once. That's good. Get the turn meter. Nice. So we need we have one more turn until we reach our ultimate. So we put down the buzzies. Um can do the second could to get the chef. Now we put down the buzzy because we will go to ultimate and that will make us uh, much easier to kill Hanstuf with the mass assist. Now back to Razor Crest because he died once, so we take him out. I don't care about the bomber. Our main threat is this guy here. Cleanse the any debuffs and then basic for a double hit. And we got the one shot for 64. That's actually quite nice. Now the thing is, you cannot use rebels against this fleet. I have a f uh, R7 full R7 Biston ship, but because it, Ahsoka is R8, she's faster, like her speed is 201, so we're going to use the finalizer comp, and if it fails, we have a wiggle room because he failed five times against my Lord Vader, so um, we're going to use Speci special forces silencer and this my special forces is R7 my silencer is R8 and the R8 uh, uh, finalizer is faster than Ahsoka and then we're going to use Republic ships them too and then also an Empire ship which is the gauntlet Thanks for your and yeah and we want to put hunted on Anakin because we don't want him to gain turn meter and thanks to Huxley we should go first regardless of the speed of Ahsoka so yeah we put hunted down on Anakin basic now he's in red we don't want him to trigger uh, the what's his name 
unending loyalty, so we can call in silencer and hopefully get a stun or a kill. Give it back to silencer, big hit, and that should take out the soka. Now just basic. Now we use the fourth to take out the taunt from the Y wing. Now we can call in um, and we can actually call in the clone sergeant. I was thinking about bringing in Gauntlet, but we don't have that many debuffs. We have an advantage, so we just. Oh, hey, Biggity, thanks for the follow. Um, we have advantage, so why not go for the big hit? That was a misplay. I should have went for Anakin. So, um... Oh god, that was another misplay. Hopefully it's not going to hurt us, but... just annoying. Now we bring in the gauntlet to remove all these debuffs. Um, get ready the the tongue. Well, get rid of it. Sorry. And now we just need to take Anakin out. Use the AOE. That's not good. It's even worse. At least Anakin is out, so I really misplayed this. Um, I made at least three big errors, so we'll see what happens. But it should be an easy cleanup. So call in silencer. He, he, he's doing now really big damage. Ah, oh, we needed the gauntlet. That's crit immunity. Yeah, so we just use basic. Yeah, it's probably going to be a loss, but let's just to try take out somebody. Call in silencer. That's fine. We can clean this up easily. That's even easier now. So, we're going to use Rebels. I have a full R7 Rebel fleet. So this shouldn't be a problem. We don't even need the Double tank. Because there aren't any major threat on the field. Ahsoka is gone, Anakin has gone. So just use second, wiggle, second, basic. He's gone. And bake it on plow. It's basic. Hmm. Let's call in Cassian, why not? Third on Milf. Basic and that should be it. Yep. Basic. Nice. It should be a high banner. Yeah, nice cleanup. 49. I'll take that. 
So yeah, we dropped one, but still it's a high score. So he, he needs to be really clean. And he wasted a lot of teams against my uh, Lord Vader. So I'm going to show you guys what's in the back. I'm going to change it up anyway. It's not like he's having an easy time, even if he managed to push through. Um, I'm going to wait until he finishes with uh, his attack and I'm going to attach the final score at the end of this video. So yeah, this should be a win for us in round one. He's the, uh, by far the toughest uh, opponent in my bracket. So um, yeah, for those of you guys watching this on YouTube, please, please uh, like and subscribe. And if you uh, want to join me, live on Twitch where you can ask questions then the link should be in the description of the video where you can also join my discord channel and if you do you get a notification uh, whenever I go live plus you get to use the all the bots like a prime bot, hot bot, um, omega bot and uh, all the other bots useful tools for, for uh, GEC so yeah until the next time see you guys Hey guys, so here is the final result. Um, my opponent went to attack, but um, he failed five times, four times against my Lord Vader. So it took him five teams to clean it up. And up top, he one shot at everything. Down south, he, he has failed against my Ray team. It only took out uh, three of them. And then my ships managed to get a hold. He failed to clear it. So that's a, t uh, that's a W. Um, so I'm moving forward to the second round. Um, as I said at the beginning of uh, the stream, this was by far the hardest opponent in my bracket. So we will see who I get next round, but it should be an easier one. So catch you guys on Saturday afternoon during the round two streams. And please give it a like and uh, subscribe to, uh, from my channel. And if you have any questions, just um, join my Discord and uh, or just uh, send a message on my uh, in-game or just comment down below. So yeah, see you guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.